Hello and welcome to this quick explanation of Income Tax 2021. This is courtesy CHRMP, Certified Human Resource Management Professional, a premium certification in HR in partnership with Pearson View. The certification is available in more than 190 countries. To learn more, visit chrmp.com. In this video, I would be taking up some examples of how much tax an individual will pay on his or her earnings on the two options available to them, the old tax regime and the new tax regime. As you know, that under the old and existing tax regime, the tax labs are higher However, various exemptions under IT section can be claimed like standard deduction, HRA, LTA, IT section, ATC, ATD, ATE, etc. On the other hand, under the new tax regime, there are increase in number of tax labs with reduced percentage of taxation and with the taxpayer having to let go of most of the exemptions. You can see our other video on income tax 2021, what it means for HR professionals to get a detailed overview. Let's begin by taking up an example of a person earning rupees 750,000 as per annum salary or earnings. Let us see how the calculation under both the tax regimes work. In the old or existing regime, when we talk about a person earning 750,000 salary per annum, the net taxable income can be reduced by availing various exemptions. Here, exemptions like standard deduction, HRA, LTA, IT section, ATC, ATD, etc. can be availed. Standard deduction to a maximum amount of rupees 50,000 can be availed, and IT section based on your saving, loans, or investments using instruments like PF, LIC, NSC, ELSS, etc. allows you to reduce your tax liability by 150,000. Similarly, you can claim more exemptions under IT section ATD, ATE and other exemptions which are allowed. Considering an example where a person earning 750,000 uh, takes rupees 50,000 under standard deduction and another rupees 50,000 under most used IT section ATC uh, so now the net taxable becomes 650000 Now calculating the income tax under the first lab, which is 0 to 2.5 lakh, no tax apply. Under 2.5 to 5 lakh, 5% 5 tax applies. Here I would want viewers to note that under section 87A, which allows tax exemption under the bracket of 2.5 to 5 lakh, it is applicable only when the net taxable income is up to 5 lakhs. In this case, net taxable income is more than 5 lakh, so 5% 5 tax will apply. This would amount to 5% of 2 lakh 50,000, which is rupees 12,500. The next lab of 5 to 10 lakh is at 20% of tax percentage. As the earnings is 6 lakh 50,000, the net taxable amount would be 20% of 1 lakh 50,000, which is rupees 30,000. Adding both the slabs, the net tax payable would be 42,400. 4% of this amount would be added as health and education says. So net tax payable now becomes 44,200 rupees. Now considering the new tax regime for the same salary of 750,000, a simple easy flat rate of taxation will apply. Almost all the exemptions now like standard deduction, IT section 80C, HRA, ATE, ATD cannot be claimed. So from 0 to 2.5 lakh, now there would be no tax. 2.5 to 5 lakh, there would be 5% tax, which would amount to 12,500 rupees, same as discussed earlier. 5 lakh to 7.5 lakh, it would be 10% in the new tax lab, reduced from 20%, which would amount to rupees 25,000 as taxable on income under this slab. Adding all the net tax payable, it would be rupees 37,500 plus 4% health and education says amounting to rupees 1500. So the net tax payable under the new tax regime would be rupees 39,000, which is about rupees 5,200 less than the old regime. In this 
case, a person should opt for new tax regime as it helps him save the income tax. However, if a person increases his or her savings or investments or claims uh, more exemption on basis of provisions available, they may end up paying less tax. For example, in the same case, if we consider tax exemption of 50,000 under tax uh, under standard deduction and 1 lakh by availing HRA or other provisions available under IT section 80C, an individual may end up paying lesser tax. Now the total tax exemption he is availing is rupees 150,000 not 1 lakh. The net tax payable is now calculated on 6 lakh and not 6 lakh 50,000 as discussed earlier. Calculating the tax again as per the old tax regime 0 to 2.5 lakh there is no tax 2.5 to 5 lakh 5% 5 which amounts to rupees 12,500 5 to 10 lakh is 20% as it is the case we are calculating on 6 lakh the person would be paying 20% of 1 lakh which is 20,000 so net tax payable would be rupees 32,500 plus 4% 4 health and education says this amounts to rupees 33,800 which is 5,200 less than the new regime. This was the exact saving we were doing by switching from old to new regime in the case discussed earlier. Now we can do the same amount of saving in the old regime itself by efficient planning. What we recommend is that as individual taxpayers we need to be more aware of these tax structures and we should plan our savings, investments, loans and other claims based on what would suit us the best. And effective planning would help with better savings and reduce tax liability or burden. As HR professionals, it's important that we understand some cases and examples so that we are able to guide employees with choosing an efficient tax structure that suits them the best. Thank you so much. Do like our page and subscribe to our channel for more of such informative videos by certified human resource management professional.